तो हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रविंद्र एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट द बल्क ऑपरेशन इन द पावर ऐप ओके लाइक एडिटिंग द कोड्स एडिटिंग द कलर्स एंड हाइड वीड्स इन द स्क्रीन ओके सो लेट्स आई सिंपली go in the screen section and added the screen table and form control to understand you okay for my app modern control is turn on okay so for now uh, let's i uh, add one data source here let's i uh, put here sharepoint and here so you can be see friends i added the sharepoint list organization culture survey okay let's i copy this name let's i go to the screen okay and here i just go to the data source okay just removing the table here and selecting the data source okay So let's I simply copy this. So friends, now here you can be see uh, you are getting some errors here. Okay, so we are fixing these errors. Okay, in, in by using the YAML code this time. Okay, so I simply select the container, not the screen, because YAML code is not still supported to the screens. Okay, so I simply select the container here okay view code and just simply copying this code okay let's i go to the notepad plus plus okay use the control v here okay and control h so i need to change this table value okay if i showcase you here table value showcasing so i need to change with the actual value so i simply click on the replace all and simply just copying this code okay so coming to the power apps let's okay. i delete this container because this container will not needed much more now okay so container is deleted okay yes i go to the screen click on the and paste code here okay so code is pasting now let's see it is all our all errors are fixed or not so friends you can be see our all code is fixed okay and i selected form 2 here you can also see our table is renamed to the organization culture survey okay let's add some fields here okay just simply click on the fields okay let's add some of the fields 1 view 3 and 4 that's it so one more and just simply click on the add here now you can be see our feed is added okay so in this case first i go to the forms okay to make the changes in uh, in the data cards we need to select the cards okay use select the shift button of your keyboard and just select this okay one by one and use control a so your all cards should be auto selected okay then just go to the advanced and unlock this card after unlocking this card okay you just select the form here and now i want to change the height okay sorry width let's we change the width okay here is some spaces remain okay so my width is now parent dot width for minus 48 okay and x is 24 so i just need to minus the 
24 ओके सो लेट्स आई शो केस यू ट्वेंटी फोर सो इट शुड टेक दिस मच ऑफ पेस ओके सो आई नीड टू रिपीट दिस टू द ऑल द कार्ड्स ओके सो लेट्स आई गो एंड सिंपली कॉपिंग द कोड ऑफ फॉर्म ओके व्यू कोड and just click on the copy okay you can assume okay here is a uh, 20 30 number of cards is available okay to do the bulk edition in that one by one it is very difficult you can also understand okay so let's i simply select this card here okay and just go to here okay use parent dot width okay here also and simply change this 48 to the 24 and just click on the replace all okay you can be see all the values are replaced okay let's i use control a control c this came to here okay simply same i will do here okay so i make it little bit bigger so you can be see in one go left click okay and delete this form so my form is deleting now okay it is deleted you can be see i selected the main container okay you can be see error is also came okay and just go to the paste and just click on the paste code so my code is pasting okay so let's see what outcome it is giving us So you can be see our form is pasted now. Let's say reorder this to the top. Okay, so it is ordered to the top. Let's say select the card here. Okay, so you can be see our width is changed now. Okay, for each of the card. So this you can be do for any property in your app that you need to do the bulk updation or the bulk. changes if you need to do okay <coughs> so this is the one of the way to do the bulk okay so here you can be see accessible errors run time error some of the small small errors you have so you can be go and fix that in the bulk okay so this is the major change came in the power apps i like this feature throw your comments in the comment box you like this video or not thank you friends have a nice day keep learning keep growing